everyone, this is Jess from the Esteban Public Library here in my home kitchen and welcome back to our A to Z World Food Series. Today we are going to make, be making Canadian Cheddar Soup. This creamy soup uses Canadian dairy products to keep you warm during the cold winter months. For this recipe you will need some cheddar cheese, some butter, some light cream, I'm using half and half, some parsley, carrots, celery, onion, chicken stock, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, and some fennel. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any, so instead I'm substituting it with bok choy. Let's get started. Before we start cooking, I went ahead and chopped up all my vegetables and shredded my cheese. For this recipe, you will need one large onion chopped, one cup of diced celery, and one cup of diced carrots, one fourth cup of diced um, fennel, and two cups of grated cheese. You will also need two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Once all your vegetables are prepped, the first step to making this soup is taking two tablespoons of butter and melting it in a saucepan over medium high heat. Once your butter has melted, throw in your onions and let them cook for three to five minutes or until soft. After your onions have been cooking for five minutes, add your celery, carrots, and fennel. Brown those for three minutes. Next, we will add three cups of chicken stock, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. And half a cup of light cream. Mix everything together well and bring just to a boil, keeping an eye so that your cream doesn't curdle. Once the soup comes to a boil, lower the heat and simmer for 15 minutes or until the vegetables soften. After 15 minutes of simmering, turn off your element, add your cheese, and mix well. For best results, add a little bit of cheese in at a time, mixing as you go. Once your cheese is mixed in well, it's time to serve. Ladle your soup into a bowl, grab a little bit of parsley to add to the top, and enjoy. This recipe serves for four and takes about 45 minutes to make and smells very, very good. Thank you all so much for joining me on our A to Z World Food series. If you, you are interested in the written recipe you can of this video, you can find it in the link below. I hope you can all enjoy not, join us in our next installment of the, this series, but until then, enjoy!